Hi, God bless, and welcome everyone to Talk Straight Bible. This is Elsie Valentine with you all here in this day, always giving God the glory, the honor, and the exaltation. And we're here to do one thing, speak the truth of the Word of God. In this day, I want to speak to you very briefly of something God has placed in my heart. On Sunday, I had the privilege of ministering at my church, and it was just a beautiful service. And one of the things that I pointed out in the message that I gave was how powerful the name of Jesus is. And it wasn't the message, but the Holy Spirit has a way of always bringing something into your thoughts to remind his people that in his name there is power. The title of today is He is Jesus. And that's it. It's that simple. I'm going to read from the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 17. The word of God says, Then the seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. Hallelujah. That name that has power, power to move mountains, power to bring revival, power to bring whatever is dead alive, the name of Jesus, because he is the savior. First Timothy chapter four, verse 10 says, for to this end, we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God, who is the savior of all men, especially of those who believe. Secondly, He is the Redeemer. In Job chapter 19, verse 25, it says, For I know that my Redeemer lives, hallelujah, and he shall stand at last on the earth. Third, he is the bread of life. In John chapter 6, verse 35, it says, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. Number four, he is Lord. John chapter 21, verse 7 says, Therefore, that disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. Next, he is the creator. In Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28, it says, Have you not known, have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary? He understands and is unsearchable. He is the son of the living God. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 16, it says, Simon Peter answered and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Next, he is the only begotten son. And we know the scripture in John three sixteen: for God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son that whomever should believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. He is the beloved son. In Luke chapter 9 verse 34 it says, And a voice came out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved son. Hear him. He is the Holy One of Israel. Isaiah 5 chapter 19 says, Let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw near and come that we may know it. He is the wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father. He is the prince of peace. And that is stated in Isaiah chapter nine, verse six. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. In first Timothy chapter six, verse 15, it says, which God will bring about in his own time. God, the blessed and only ruler, the king of kings and Lord of lords. He is the good shepherd. John chapter 10, verse 11 says, I am the good shepherd and the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. He is our healer. First Peter chapter two, verse 24 says, who Himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we have died to sin, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. He is the king of the Jews. John chapter 19 verses 2 to 3 says, And the soldiers twisted a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and they put on him a purple robe, and then they said, Hail the king of the Jews, and they struck him with their hands. He is the prophet. Matthew twenty one eleven says, And the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. 
Lastly, he is the Messiah. In Luke chapter 2, verse 11, it says, Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. I wanted to go through these names and just tell you how powerful the God that we serve, the one who came from heaven to earth to show us the way, how powerful in his name, Jesus, Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua Hama Mashiach, Yahweh, he is our salvation. That was the name that was given to him. There is no other person who can save. There is no other name that can save, but the mighty name of Jesus. Romans chapter 10 verse 13 says, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. He's the only one who can save you. He's the only person who can bring someone from the dead to life like he did with Lazarus. He's the only one that can take us who were once dead in this world and revive us and give us life so that we can be a light in the midst of darkness and have life in abundance. Only in Jesus can you receive salvation. Only in Jesus are we redeemed. We don't have to worry about how to work out our salvation because he did it for us on Calvary's cross. We don't receive power because we're following a certain denomination. We're under a certain pastor. We're a leader. We're following this doctrine or that doctrine and we're doing this and we're doing that. We receive power because through the blood of Christ, because what he did for us, we are cleansed, we are renewed, and we are transformed. And we give him glory and honor that we serve a great and mighty God. As Psalms 115, it describes this idol, this image, this God. God that the people were worshiping and it says they had eyes but could not see had ears but could not hear had a mouth but could not speak, have hands but cannot touch. The beautiful thing about the God that we serve is that the Bible says that he sees all things because he's omnipresent. He's Jehovah Shammah. He hears us because he inclines his ears and he listens to the cries of his people. Whenever we need to hear a word, we just open up his word and the word becomes life and the word begins to breathe and the word is a double-edged sword which pierces into the heart of man. And whenever we need a touch. We feel him wrapping us up under the shadow of his almighty wings. There is no one like that here on this earth. Only the God that we serve, Adonai, Yahweh, Elohim, Yeshua HaMashiach. We serve a powerful and mighty God. And because of it, he sent his son here on this earth to save us. And his name is is Jesus. No one else like him. I wanted to share this with you today and just be encouraged that when you're going through something where you feel like you can't even get out of a situation where you feel stuck, where you feel like, Lord, I don't see my way out of it. Lord, I, I'm being hit with sickness. Lord, I'm being attacked in my finances. Lord, I'm being attacked in my mind. Lord, all these things are coming against, against me from every which way call upon the name of Jesus because it has power. It has power to save, power to heal, power to redeem. It is so powerful that by the very mention of his name, demons flee. So remember that name and everything you go through. The name of Jesus has power. God bless you. Have a wonderful week in the Lord. And until we meet again, amen.